Now the next question would be just an extension to this. Calculate volume of CO2 formed at STP. Now it doesn't mean that the CO2 is formed at STP because obviously this is a combustion and combustion cannot take at STP whose temperature is 0, zero degrees Celsius. So what, what they actually mean is that the volume, some, some amount of CO2 is formed. So the volume of that CO2, that CO2 is taken to STP and then you are asked to calculate what its volume would be at STP. So now what do you do is that and same 32 grams of methane are taken. So now what do you do? 32 grams, 2 moles. Now, 1 mole of methane gives 1 mole of CO2. So 2 moles of methane will give 2 moles of CO2. So 2 moles of CO2 are formed. And if you take them to STP, take the gas to STP, it will still remain 2 moles because weight will not change. Now, after taking it to STP, we, if you remember this old thing which I had said that one mole of any gas at STP occupies 22.4 liter, any gas irrespective of its nature. So CO2 is also a gas. and two moles of CO2 are formed. So, two moles will occupy how many liters? 2 into 22.4, simple as that. So, 44.8 liters CO2 is formed at STP. And again, they can give you the reverse type of question. Like, it is observed that 22 gram of CO2 is formed. Now this 32 gram is not there in the question. So 22 gram of CO2 is formed in the reaction. Calculate the amount of methane. The so same thing, 22 gram you convert into moles. CO2's molecular weight is 44. And as you start practicing the sums, the molecular weight of these common compounds like CO2, H2O, CH4, and stuff, they should, I mean, you should remember them so that you don't have to calculate C12 plus 2 into 16 and this sort of stuff. So common compounds, you should know the molecular weights. So it, it saves time in the paper. So CO2's molecular weight is 44 gram. You can check it 12 plus 32, it's 44. So 22 gram of CO2 would be how many moles? 22 by 44 which is 0.5 moles. So 0.5 moles of CO2 means 0.5 moles of CH4. So 0.5 moles of CH4 would be 0.5 into 16 grams, which is 8 gram CH4. Simple. They can also give you these type of molarity, molality things they can involve in the question like you have this reaction CaCO3 plus 2, no not 2, let me, let me leave the balancing to you. This is the reaction. Carbonates reacting with acid evolve CO2 all 10 standard stuff. So, how to balance this? You have already balanced it in 10 standard. You don't need POAC to balance this. Just calcium, calcium, carbonate, uh, chlorine, there are two. So, just put a two over here. 
2H, H2, O3, O3, C, C. Totally balanced. Now it is said that 25 ml of 0.75 molar HCl is taken. Find mass of CaCO3 needed change the pen needed to complete or react completely with HCl of course. So they have said that this thing is taken, this much HCl is taken find mass of CaCO3 needed to react completely. Now you might be confused of this 25 ml of 0.75 molar HCl. Now what is what was molarity? Molarity was number of moles divided by the volume in liters. So if M is equal to number of moles divided by volume then you can calculate number of moles by multiplying the molarity with the volume and what is given over here the volume and the molarity so if you multiply these two you will get the number of moles but be careful this is in milliliter so first convert it to liters 25 by 1000 liters into 0 0.75 molar will give you number of moles of HCl. So how much does this turn out to be? 75 by 100 So it would be around 15 by 800 sort of moles. So this is, I mean, let it be in fractions. You can always calculate it. So this is the number of moles of HCl taken. Now you have to find the mass of CaCO3 needed to react completely. Now for the complete reaction, the total HCl should be consumed and it says that 2 moles HCl requires 1 mole CaCO3 for complete reaction. So 15 by 800 moles HCl would require how many moles of CaCO3? 1 by 2 into 15 by 800. Simple as that. So these many moles of CaCO3 are required and so how many grams of CaCO3 would be required? 1 by 2 into 15 by 800 into the molecular weight of CaCO3 which is 100 gram, 100 gram per mole. So it would be 15 by 16 grams. So if you are given the molarity and the volume, don't panic, it's just if you multiply the molarity with the volume, you will get the number of moles. 